Everyone can hear me. Good. Thank you. Yes. It's seven thirty. Let's take in our yoga session. Take in any comfortable pose, sukhasan, sitasan, padmasan. Hands in Yamudra, shoulders relaxed, eyes closed, chin parallel to the ground. We will chant two three times, and then we will do the ordinary. Can you higher the volume, please? Sure. Thank you. So we'll do normal breathing, deep inhalation, followed by Omka chanting three times. Oh. Oh. Join both the hands together in front of chest. Let's do opening prayer. Om Karam Nindu Sayyuktam Nityam Dhyayanti Yoginam Karmadam Mokshadam Chaiva Om Karaya Namo Nama Yogena Chittasya Padena Vacham Maram Sharira Sacha Baitya Kena Yopa Karotam Pravaram Muninam Patanjali Pranjali Rana Tosi Abhahu Purushakaram Shankha Chakra Sitariyam Sahasra Shirasham Shretam Pranamami Patanjali Pranamami Patanjali Pranamami Patanjali Take both the hands behind the back and go down to Mother Earth for the Guru. Inhale, come back up, grab both the palms together. Place your warm hand over the eyes. Open and close eyes in darkness a couple of times. Massage the eyelids. And spread this warm feeling energy on the face, neck, shoulder, and all body parts. Let's begin, begin with the warm up. So extend the both hands in front. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's do alternate. Now make a fist and we'll do the rotation around the wrist, keeping the rest of the hand straight in line of shoulder. Change the direction. Now 
Now press the right palm fingers up. By inhaling, exhale, and turn the left palm down and press the fingers with the right palm. We'll repeat it a few more times. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now let's do the same thing on the left side. So left palm is up, right palm is down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now make a cone of your fingers and place it over your shoulder while exhaling. Inhale, open, exhale. Let's do the side way, same thing. Now extend both the hands in the line of shoulder. Thumbs pointing up, fingers pointing up. We'll do the gentle rotation around the shoulder. Change the direction. Now we'll do the rotation for waist and below. So inhale, take both hands up. Exhale, turn towards the left side, left hand goes behind. And try to look behind, align your chin with the left shoulder. And with the right, with the right hand, just push the left knee towards the front. And pull the neck from twist and wait to you. Inhale, come back to center. Inhale, take both hands up. Exhale, let's repeat this on the right side. Inhale, come back to center, both hands up. Exhale, let's do on the left side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, turn towards left side. Repeat one more time on your own. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, turn towards the left, right side. Come back to center. Let's do one more rotation around the waist area. So both hands on the knee. We'll inhale. Exhale, bend forward, going down to from the left side, center while exhaling. Inhale, come back up from right side. Again, exhale. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Now change the reaction, going down from right side while exhaling. Inhale up from left side.
we'll do our neck rotation. So inhale up, tilt your head slightly backward. Exhale down, try to touch to the foot. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Now, exhale, look at your right side, aligning the chin with right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, turn your face towards the left side, aligning chin with the right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, towards right. Inhale, come back to center. Again, exhale. As you align to left shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Let's do the knee rotation 360. So, Starting from the right, right side, when you go up slowly while inhaling, and when you turn towards left side, start exhaling and going down. Inhale up, right, exhale left, down. Very gentle rotation around me. Now change the direction. We start from going up from left side while inhaling. Exhale, right, down. Inhale, left, up. Exhale, right, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Now, once you complete the neck rotation, Exchange the both leg and sit in the nation. Back straight hands beside besides the sitting bones. We'll squeeze the toes a couple of times and release. Now exchange both the feet away from your body. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, exchange. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let's do the alternate. Coordinate the breath accordingly. Now join both the feet together and let's do rotation around the ankle joint. Change the direction. Now interlock your fingers with the Right toes, place the right feet on the left thigh and with right hand place the right knees towards the floor while inhaling. Exhale, 
Repeat one more time. Exhale, bring the chin close to you. Now, place your hands underneath the knee joints. Let's do rotation from knee and below. Clockwise rotation three times. And the clockwise three times. Now extend your hand and grab your feet. Try to pull it upward while keeping your back straight as much as you can. Inhale, exhale, try to bring your knee close to the face. Exhale and bring your feet down. Let's repeat the same thing on left leg. So interlock your finger with the left toes. Place the left knee down while inhaling. Exhale, bring it close to the chin. Again, we'll repeat. Inhale, press it down. Exhale, bring it close to chin. Inhale, press it down. Exhale. Bring it close to the chin. Repeat one more time. Exhale. Bring the knee close to the chin. Once you complete, interlock your fingers and place it below the knee joint. And let's do the rotation from knee and below. Change the reaction. Once you complete the rotation, then extend your hand, grab the feet, and try to pull it upward, keeping the other leg straight, knee straight, toes pointing out and try to pull up for as much as you can. Listen to your body. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your face or chin close to you. Exhale. Bring it down. Now, Let's do the butterfly pose. So interlock your fingers with the toes. Bring your both the knees up while exhaling. Inhale down. Try to touch it to the floor with the knees if possible. One more time, exhale and bring it up. Inhale, down. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale, down. And 
Now let's flap it quickly like butterfly. Now, take your feet away from your cranium, about one feet. Inhale, stretch your torso and lower back towards upward side, straight. Hold your toes with the hand. Inhale, big exhalation and bend forward. Keeping the torso straight and pressing your knee down. You can use your elbow to rest your body also. And with every exhalation, try to bend forward as much as you can from the lower back. Our goal is to reach to the toes, touch our chin or head to the toe. Inhale, come back up. Take few breaths in and out. We'll repeat it one more time. So again, deep inhalation. Exhale, stretch your torso up. And while exhaling, bend forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale and slowly come back up. Now bring your foot is close to the perineum, but the corner to Bhattasana. Sit straight. Try to push your knee towards the floor as low as it can go. Inhale. Hold the breath for seven seconds. Release. Let's do it two more times. Inhale. Hold. Observe. One more time. Inhale. Hold. Observe. Now we'll do uh, breathing, pranayama, breathing exercise. So we will start with the Surya Nadi, inhaling and exhaling only from the right nostril. The right hand is in Vishnu Mudra. Close the left nostril with the ring finger. Left hand is in Yam Mudra. Hand in line of shoulder. Inhale, exhale only from left, only from right nostril. So the nostril.
Now slowly change it to Surya Vedana. So inhale from right, exhale from left, one way only. Inhale from right, exhale from left. Now, again, both the hands in the mudra. We'll do simple vastrika, which is the inhalation and the exhalation. So, uh, uh, we will keep focus on longer exhalation. So, if you are inhaling for six count, your exhalation should be at least six or more. So, we will try to focus on increasing the exhalation by keeping it slow. And we'll do the count in mind. So let's begin the simple first figure. Once you conclude the last round of the simple vastrika, we will do another variation of the vastrika by taking both the hands on the side, around shoulder. Inhale up, exhale down, forceful inhale, forceful exhalation. Head upward and look up. 
feel all the sensation. Now let's do the second round of Rasbrika. We will do in the front side and up. On our both the palms, slightly feel to place of foot and feel all the sensation. Now we will do Kapal Bhati. So we'll do the simple Kapal Bhati, which is deep inhalation followed by multiple exhalation. So that could be passive inhalation in deep in, but not that active. And you can keep the hands in one mudra, joining second middle finger with the thumb. Normal breathing. Deep inhalation, followed by multiple exhalation. Exhale and relax. During the practice, anytime you feel that you, can, you are out of the breath, just stop the exercise and breathe regularly. Let's do the second round of the part of it. Deep inhalation followed by multiple exhalation. Inhale, exhale normally and relax for three minutes. The 
this is the last variation of the pranayama, which is ventilation breath. So that's very important to cleanse your system. Instruction for that is what we will breathe normally, inhale, exhale normally. And then we will have a deep inhalation and we will have a forceful exhalation by bending down. And then while you bend, after the pause, we should be we should be so all the three bandhas, Buddha, Buddha, Tar Bandha, Udhyan Bandha, and Jalanda And then hold your breath out because you have already exhaled. So there is no breath in your system and you are applying the Lata. So you are doing Bhaya Kumbhaka. There is no breath inside. And then you are, at that time you are in position like this. So once you feel that you need to breathe, Release all the bandha, inhale and come back up. Once you inhale, again you apply all the three bandha and keep the breath inside. So that is under kumbhaka. So we'll repeat this two times. This is called full lock. Uh, this is called ventilation, right? Inhale, exhale normally. Let's begin. With the deep inhalation, apply all the three bandha, Muradhar bandha, Udhyan bandha, and Jalandhar bandha. I'm just showing how to apply the bandha. We'll start the ventilation breath in one minute. You can, you can touch your chin to the throat to apply for the Jalandar Bandha. You can contact anal muscles for Muladhar Bandha. And for Udhyan Bandha, you can contact the stomach muscles. So let's begin. Normal inhalation, exhalation. Normal inhalation. Forceful exhalation. Now apply all the three Bandha. Release the bandha and inhale, come back up. Again, inhale deeply. Apply all the three bandha. Release the bandha and exhale. So we'll we did first round. Let's do two more rounds for Antar Kumbhaka and Bhaya Kumbhaka. First, you will do Bhaya Kumbhaka, and second is Antar Kumbhaka. Normal inhalation, exhalation, deep inhalation, forceful exhalation. Apply <laughs> bandha. Release the bandha, inhale, come back up. Now deep inhalation, apply bandha. Release the bandha, and inhale, exhale. Now, let's do one more round on your own. Apply bandha.
Inhale, come back up. Inhale, exhale normally. Again, deep inhalation. Apply the breath. We'll do take few practice even now and we'll start the sitting poses. So open your both legs wide apart in V shape. We'll do with the sticking triangle pose, Kanasana. Inhale, take both hands up, slightly tilt backward. Exhale, bend forward, try to grab your toes. With every exhalation, try to bend forward as much as you can. And try to bend from lower back so you can go further down. Inhale, come back up. Let's repeat it one more time. Inhale, both hands up. Right to face backward. Exhale, bend forward. Have your toes. Inhale, come back up. Now turn your shoulder blade towards the left side. Inhale, take both hands up. Look up. Exhale. Bend towards the left side. Grab the left toes. And try to bring your face to me. Inhale, come back up. Let's repeat one more time. Inhale, take both hands up. Exhale, grab the left two and try to bring your head to the left knee. Inhale, come back up. Let's repeat the same thing on the right side. So turn your shoulder blades towards the right side. Inhale, take both hands up. Exhale. Bend from lower back. Try to grab the right toes. And with every exhalation, try to bend further down so that you can touch your head from Inhale, come back up. Let's repeat one more time. Inhale, take both hands up. Exhale. Grab the right toe. You can support your elbow on the floor. And bring your way to me. Inhale, come back up. Now we'll do Pashvakonasana. So inhale, take both hands up. Exhale, with the right hand, grab the left foot. And left hand goes behind 90 degrees. Thumbs pointing up. 
and look at towards your left thumb. Come back to center. Inhale, take both hands up. Exhale, right hand goes behind 90 degree, left hand. You can grab the right toe with the left hand. Look at your right thumb. Come back to center. Let's repeat it one more time on your own. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale. Do the Pashmokonasana on our left side. Then come back to center. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale. Let's do on right side. Right hand goes behind. Left hand. Now grab, you can grab the right toe with the left hand. During this pose, you need to make sure that both knees are straight. In touch with the floor. You get the maximum benefit of this pose. Come back to center. Take few breaths in and out. Just do Chinese Shasana. Next pose is. So for that, to do the Janus Rishas on our left side, place the right heel against the left thigh. Right heel is touching the perineum. Turn the shoulder blade towards the left side. Inhale, take both hands up. Look up. Exhale. Bend from the lower back. You can grab the toes. You can grab the heel. Whichever works. And then with every exhalation, try to bring your forehead to the knee. Janu Sushma Sana. Inhale. Come back up. Let's repeat it one more time. Inhale. Take both hands up, exhale, bend forward. This time we'll stay for longer. With every exhalation, try to bring your head to the knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Inhale, come back up. Let's do the variation of Janusrishasana. For you the Janusrishasana, so for that, extend your left hand, grab the left toe. Inhale, take your right hand up. Exhale, take the right hand over your head, bicep touching the ear and grab the left toes and look towards the ceiling. Keep pressing your right knee down towards the floor. Left knee is touch in touch with your yoga mat and look up. Revolving head to knee pose. Hari Vrutta Janu Sushasana. Exhale, come back. Let's repeat the same thing on right side. So we are doing right side, so left heel is touching the right heel and right left heel is touching the right inner thigh and touching the pyramid. Turn the shoulder blade towards the right side. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, bend forward, grab the toe, feet, feel whatever is what in front of And with every exhalation, try to bring your forward to the head to the knee. Inhale. 
Purva Uttasana, Uttasana, and reverse plank. Exhale, come back. Now we'll do one more sitting pose, which is Vakrasana. So for that, keep the right feet next to the left. Let me do it first on left side. So your left feet is next to the right knee. Your left hand goes behind, supporting your back. Inhale, take the right hand up. Exhale, take it out from the left side of the knee. With the elbow, you can push the left knee towards the right. Try to grab the knee with the right hand. Inhale, exhale, look behind and try to align your chin with the left shoulder. While placing your left knee towards right, so you will feel maximum twist in your waist area. This is very good to stimulate all the stomach organs. Exhale, come back. Let's repeat on the right side. So place the right hand, right feet next to the left inner thigh in line of left knee. Right hand goes behind, supporting your back. Inhale, take left hand up. Exhale, place the right elbow against the right knee, facing towards the left and grab the left knee. Now inhale, exhale, and look towards right side, aligning your right shoulder and chin together. Look towards right side. Exhale, come back. For the another variation of this pose, which is Ardhamatsyanasana, so let's do the same by keeping right knee on the floor, left knee is pointed up, and left heel is in line of right knee. Since left leg is up, left hand will go back, so inhale, take the left hand up, Exhale, place it behind your back, supporting your back. Inhale, take the right hand up. Exhale, take it out towards out of the right knee and grab the right, sorry, left ankle, pushing your left knee towards the right side. Inhale, exhale, align your chin with the left shoulder. Look at Behind. The benefits are same like previous pose. It stimulates all the stomach organs. Or the same last one. Exhale. Come back. Let's repeat on the other side. So this time, left leg goes below. Right leg is up. Right heel is in line of left knee. Since right leg is up, right hand will go behind. So inhale, right hand up. Exhale, place the right hand supporting the back. Inhale, take the left leg hand up. Exhale. With the left elbow, push your right knee, grab the right ankle, inhale, exhale, turn your face towards right side, aligning your chin with the right shoulder. Feel the maximum twist in waist area. Come back. 
Now we will do some cat and cow pose. So if you are, if you want to take a short break, you can take it just to regulate your breath and have. So, for cat and cow pose, your both hands should be in line of shoulder, both the palms right under the shoulder, both knees should be under the uh, hip, and we'll do the inward and upward arch. So, inhale up while doing inward arch. Exhale, looking at the Navi, upward arch. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Very good pose for the back pain. Once you complete this, you can take you will do the next pose. So take the right hand underneath your left palm, place it on the floor, and try to bring your right side of the face on the floor. The leg position is same. Now inhale and take your left hand on the back. Exhale, bring the left hand on the floor and come back to cat and cow position. We'll do the same thing on other side. So this time take your left hand under the right palm, place your left side of the face onto the floor. Take the right hand behind the back. Exhale and come back. Now we'll do tiger pose. So for that, extend your right leg in the line of your hip joint. You can look behind to make sure it's aligned. Now extend your so left hand, but before that we will do one more pose, which is bend your right leg from the knee, three pointing upward. Extend your left hand, inhale and exhale. Now exhale, take your left hand back, grab the right anchor, pull upward, and look at the front. Exhale, come back to get in focus. Now let's repeat this on other side. So this side, this time we will 
exchange the left leg parallel to the floor in line of hip joint. Bend the left leg from knee, heel pointing towards the floor. Now inhale, extend the right hand. Exhale, grab the left ankle with the right hand. Pull your left leg upright and look at the break. Exhale, come back. Now we'll do one more pose, which is cake pose. So for that, we'll do first on the right side. So extend your right leg on the right side. Now Slide your right hand along your right leg and while inhaling, take the left hand up and our goal is to reach the ankle by, by the right hand. You can grab the ankle by bending towards the right side. Your el elbows should be in one line, bicep touching the ear. Look up. This is called body pose, gate pose. Exhale, come back. Let me take this on the other side. So this time, left leg is extended. You can take right hand up. Slide your left hand along the left leg. Look up, your bicep is touching ear. And grab the left ankle with the left hand. Right hand is in straight line. Look up to make sure your body is in one place. Exhale, come back. Now, just stand up. Relax your hands and legs. Shake your body. Now, Interlock your fingers and lift your body on your toes. Feel your thighs enough. Release. Let's do one more time. Inhale and take your hands up. Exhale, come back. Now we can walk on knee and toes two times around the yoga mat. You can change to heels. If you are completely on toes, if you are completely on toes, completely on heels, then do it on heels. The two round around the yoga mat and heels on toes. Now you can open your leg 
two feet apart. Inhale, take your both hands in the front. Exhale, turn towards the left side, keeping both hands parallel. And when you are taking your hand towards left side, try to look towards the right side from behind and go as much as you can. Just move the area above the wrist. Inhale, come back to center. Let's do it on the other side. Exhale, take both the hands behind. Inhale, come back to center. Now interlock your palms together. Open your leg few feet, feet apart. We will do Chakki Chalasana, but in a standing position. So we'll start from the left side. Go below. Exhale, right. Inhale, up. Exhale, left, inhale, up, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Now change the direction, going from right side below. While exhaling, inhale up, exhale down, Once you complete this, now exchange both the hands in line of shoulder. We'll do Trikonasana. So exhale, take your right hand towards the left side, grab the left toe. The left hand goes 90 degree up. Thumbs pointing up, both the knees are straight. Exhale, come back to goddess pose or star pose. We'll repeat on the left side. So inhale, exhale, left hand, grab the right toes, right hand goes behind 90 degree up. Look at the right thumb. Exhale, come back. We'll do revolving triangle pose. So for that, we will take our hand behind the ankle and the other hand will go 90 degree up. So let's do it on left side. Inhale, exhale, right hand goes behind the ankle. Left hand goes vertically up. Look at the left hand. Exhale, come back. Let's repeat this on other side. So inhale, exhale, left hand goes behind the left, right ankle, right hand goes up. Come back to center. Now we will do variation of the side angle pose. So for that, the leg position is I'm doing left side, so left leg is pointing towards the left side, right feet is toes are pointing towards the front. Now exchange your both the hands. Take your right left hand under the left thigh and take it behind, 
right hand is up, which you exhale and take it behind. Now interlock both the palms on the back and look up. This Nilamba Pashwakonasana is another variation of side angle pose. So, and back. Let's repeat this on right side. So this time, right toes are pointing towards the right side. Left toes pointing towards the front. Front, exchange both the hands in line. And since we are doing on right side, right hand go underneath right thigh. Left hand is up. Exhale, take the left hand back. Interlock both the palms and look up. And try to bring your perineal head down as you can by looking up. Exhale, come back. Since we are in the same position, let's do the Virabhadrasan one on the left side. So taking both the hands down, inhale up and slightly bend backward while looking up. And you try to lower your pelvis as you can see. Come back. Let's do it on another side. So right side, right toes pointing towards right. Left toes point slightly at the angle from the front. That will help you go further down. Now take your both the hands down. Inhale, take both hands up. Bend backward. Exhale. And now we'll do with a dress and two. Same position, so we will do on right side first. Fingers in the line of floor. Look at the right palm. We'll change Gayatri Mantra two times. Om Bhubur Bhuvaswa. That Savito Varenam, Bariko Devas Yamahi, Dio Yona Prashodaya. Om Bhutu Vasva, That Savito Varenam, Bariko Devas Yamahi, Dio Yona Prashodaya. Let's repeat this on right side. So left side. So this time we are looking towards the left palm. Om bo buvaswa tat savito varenam bariko devasya dhimahi diyo yoga prachodaya. Om bo buvaswa now we will do one more balancing pose. So I have a options. Those who can do Vibhadras and three and four, go ahead and do three and four. Those who cannot do three and four, we can, those all can try to do Vrukshasan and Garudasan. So we can try to pose both ways. You can do three and four. And I can do Vrukshasan and Garudasan. So you can choose whichever you like, okay? But do any two balancing poses. Piyush is doing uh, three, Virabhadrasana three. I'm doing 
वृक्षासन Mm -hmm. I am doing Garudasan, so those who want to do Garudasan, follow me. So hopefully everybody tries whichever pose they can do. Now come back to relaxation. Take few breaths in and out. Those who can do the Half moon pose can get the block and try to do the half moon pose. If you can do it with support of block, that's fine. If you can do it without, that's fine. So I'm trying to do it on left side, right side. So placing your right hand on block and while maintaining your weight on right foot, Slowly lift your leg, left leg up and left leg hand up. Exhale, come back. You may be able to do better on the heart flow than the yoga mat. Let's try on the left side. So again, maintaining your body weight on the left feet and left hand while lifting your right leg and right hand up. Okay, come back. We will do Surya Namaskar for round. So come back in front of your mat in Samastuti. Let me know what you want.
Now extend your hand behind. Rest the one palm on floor and extend the right hand behind. Change it. Now right hand will be on floor. Extend the left hand behind. Exhale. Come back. Now lie down on stomach. We will do some poses on stomach and back. Lie down in Makar Asana. Crocodile pose. For a few minutes. Take your breath in and out. Now extend your both hands in front and give your body a big stretch like stick asana. Stick asana. Now with back to push and raise your both hands and lift up. Lion pose, superman pose, with prit naupasana. Exhale, come back to crocodile pose, Makar Asana. Now, we will do Shodhasana. So take your hands underneath the thigh, palms facing up underneath the thigh. And now, Chest and chin supporting on the floor, supported on the floor. Next inhalation, take the right leg up and support the right knee with the left feet. Your rest of the body is in contact with the floor. Or the Sarvasana, half lotus pose. Exhale, come back. Take few breaths in and out. We'll do on the other side. So inhale and take your left leg up. Support the left knee with the right feet. Now lower the right leg. We will do Pona Shodhasana, which is full locus pose. For that, you can make a fist. Take the thumb inside and make a fist with both the hands. Now place the fist underneath your uh, thigh joint. This way, thumbs pointing up, and once you place both the fists under the thigh joint, then lift your body, both legs up, basically resting your body on your fist. Pura Shalvasana, full locus pose. Bring your legs down, take your hands up, 
The next pose we will do is Dhanurasana. So, for Dhanurasana, you can lift your both legs up from knee and below. Grab the right ankle with right palm, left ankle with left palm. And with next inhalation, lift your chin, chest, and leg up. Basically, your stomach area is in contact of your tummy. Bow pose, Dhanur Asana. Exhale. Come back. Go back to Makar Asana. Now lie down on your back. Take your breath in, in and out. Now we will do Adho Tanasana. So take your both the leg 90 degree up. And keep your palm next to the heel facing down. This is called Ardhavarasana also. Now slowly lower your legs inch by inch. No crash landing. This is very good exercise for very fun days. And it's also a core exercise. Those who have problem in the waist and legs, they should do this every day, keeping their legs upward for some time. It helps the blood circulation. Next pose is Pawan Mokhtasana, Green Releasing Pose. So take left leg, lift the right leg by in front of me and press the right leg against the chest with the help of both the hands. You can wrap around the hands on the leg. Now inhale, exhale normally. With deep inhalation, deep aspiration, lift your head up and try to touch the chin to the knee. Keeping the other leg straight, toes pointing out. Exhale, come back. Let's repeat it on the other side. So wrap both the hands around the left knee. Knee is pressing against the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your head up. Touch the chin to the knee. Other leg is straight. Toes pointing outward. Exhale, come back. Now, next two poses we will stay in the group again. Those who can do the Sarvangasana and Halasana, please do the Sarvangasana and Halasana in one minute. 
and those who can do who cannot do sarvangasana and halasana they can do bicycle pose dvichakri asana and they can do the leg rotation so i will show both the things quickly those who know sarvangasana and halasana please go ahead and start doing that i will do the bicycle pose and leg rotation i will just show them so keep both the palms facing down and give the legs do the bicycle motion then it goes and once you have completed i am just showing you so please do it um, while others do the sarvangasana and halasana once you completed the bicycle pose you can do the leg rotation three times clockwise three times anti clockwise for both legs the others might have completed halasana and sarvangasana if you all have done completed that then you can go back to matsyasana while we set up for yoga so once you complete these poses go back to matsyasana which is the last pose of the session you can place your both hands under the hip lift your chest tilt your head backward and toes pointing out this pose is very good and it even out all the energy we gain during the yoga session It spreads it evenly throughout the body, so it is a must pose for every yoga practice. Once you come out of the matyasan, please get ready for your kino. If you want to cover up yourself, turn your light lights down. Now. गहरी सांसें लेना शुरू करें गहरी सांस अंदर और बाहर एक बार फिर से गहरी सांस अंदर और बाहर पुनः एक बार अंदर आती हुई सांस आपको ताजगी दे रही है शक्ति दे रही है और बाहर जाती हुई सांस आपके तनाव टेंशन तकलीफों को आपसे दूर ले जा रही है और अब आपका मन शांत तो होने लगा है आसपास के आवाजों के साक्षी बनिए सिर्फ उनको सुनना है एक साक्षी भाव और अब धीरे धीरे आपका शरीर ढीला पड़ने लगा है और जो जो आपका शरीर ढीला पड़ रहा है आपका मन शांत होने लगा है जो भी हो रहा है उसको होने दें किसी भी अनुभव को जज ना करें अब अपनी चेतना को अपने पैर की उंगलियों पे ले जाएं, लेफ्ट टोस 
एंड राइट टोस उसको अपने मन की आंखों से देखें महसूस करें और ढीला छोड़ें अब अपने ध्यान को अपने दोनों एंकल्स या टखनों पे ले जाएं, एंकल में मौजूद तनाव को टेंशन को महसूस करें और ढीला छोड़ें आपके दोनों टखने विश्राम कर रहे हैं अब अपनी चेतना को धीरे से अपने दोनों पिंडलियों या काफ मसल्स पे ले जाए वहां की संवेदनाओं के साक्षी बनिए और धीरे से दोनों पिंडलियों को ढीला छोड़ें शिथिल करें आपके घुटने के नीचे का भाग शिथिल हो चुका है ढीला हो चुका है रिलैक्स हो चुका है इस विश्राम को अपने अंदर अनुभव करिए अपनी चेतना को अब अपने दोनों जांघों पर ले जाएं, लेफ्ट थाई एंड राइट थाई वहां की मांसपेशियों को महसूस करें वहां मौजूद टेंशन को स्ट्रेस को देखें और ढीला छोड़ें दोनों जांग रिलैक्स हो चुके हैं शिथिल हो चुके हैं अब अपनी चेतना को दोनों कूल्हों के ऊपर ले जाएं, लेफ्ट हिप एंड द राइट हिप एंड रिलैक्स द मसल्स ऑफ योर हिप्स एंड थाइस कूल्हे की मांसपेशिया ढीली हो रही हैं, रिलैक्स हो रही हैं। अब अपनी चेतना को अपने पेट और कमर के निचले हिस्से पे ले जाए उसको महसूस करें देखें और ढीला छोड़ें अब अपनी चेतना को अपनी छाती पर लाइए छाती की मांसपेशियों को ढीला छोड़ें आराम दें विश्राम दें अब अपनी चेतना को पीठ के ऊपरी हिस्से पे लाइए वहां मौजूद तनाव के साक्षी बने उसको देखें और ढीला छोड़ें पूरा शरीर ढीला हो रहा है रिलैक्स्ड हो रहा है और आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में उतरता चला जा रहा है इस विश्राम के साक्षी बनिए अब अपनी चेतना को अपने दोनों कंधे लेफ्ट शोल्डर एंड द राइट शोल्डर पर लाएं दोनों कंधे विश्राम कर रहे हैं ढीले हो रहे हैं रिलैक्स हो रहे हैं अपने ध्यान को अब अपने दाए बा और बाई बाह के ऊपर ले जाएं। पुट योर अटेंशन ऑन लेफ्ट आर्म एंड राइट आर्म देखें महसूस करें ढीला छोड़ें हाथ की उंगलियों को भी ढीला छोड़ें रिलैक्स करने दें और जो जो आपकी मांसपेशियां रिलैक्स कर रही हैं 
आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में डीप रिलैक्सेशन में उतरता चला जा रहा है अब अपने ध्यान को अपने गर्दन के ऊपर ले जाएं, गर्दन में मौजूद तनाव को टेंशन को महसूस करें और गर्दन के रेशे रेशे को ढीला छोड़ें आराम करने दें आप एक गहन विश्राम में उतरते जा रहे हैं जो विचार आए उन विचारों को आने दें अपनी चेतना को अपने चेहरे के ऊपर ले जाएं, दाई आंख बाई आंख ऊपर का होठ नीचे का होठ आपके गाल और संपूर्ण चेहरा चेहरे के सारे मांसपेशियों को विश्राम करने दें ढीला छोड़ें और अब आप अपनी चेतना को सिर के पिछले हिस्से पे ले जाएं और सिर के पिछले हिस्से को पूरी तरह से ढीला छोड़ें रिलैक्स करें ज्यो ज्यो आपका शरीर रिलैक्स हो रहा है आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में उतरता चला जा रहा है और ज्यो ज्यो आपका मन गहन विश्राम में जा रहा है आपके शरीर की मांसपेशियां और शिथिल हो रही हैं और ढीली पड़ रही हैं संपूर्ण बायां पैर शिथिल हो चुका है संपूर्ण दायां पैर रिलैक्स्ड हो चुका है ढीला पड़ चुका है पेट छाती की मांसपेशियां आराम कर रही हैं विश्राम कर रही हैं संपूर्ण पीठ की मांसपेशियां ढीली पड़ रही हैं रिलैक्स्ड पड़ रही हैं गर्दन विश्राम कर रहा है चेहरा ढीला पड़ रहा है सिर का हिस्सा पूरी तरह से शिथिल हो चुका है इमेजिन करिए कि आप एक गार्डन में लेटे हुए हैं और यहां की ताजी हवा आपको और विश्राम दे रही है तितलियां आपके आसपास उड़ रही हैं और जब आप इनको देखते हैं तो आपका मन शांत हो रहा है ठंडी हवा के झोंके आपके शरीर को एक मसाज दे रहे हैं नरम नरम घासों को अपने शरीर से छूते हुए महसूस करें आप इस टेम्परेचर को इंजॉय कर रहे हैं और आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में उतरता जा रहा है जो भी तनाव आपके शरीर में था इमेजिन करिए वो भाप की तरह आपके शरीर से उड़ता जा रहा है और आपका शरीर और ढीला पड़ रहा है आपका मन और शांत हो रहा है इस स्टेट में मैं आपको कुछ सजेशंस देता हूं अपने मन में पूरे कन्विक्शन के साथ पूरी दृढ़ता के साथ पूरी मजबूती के साथ ये दोहराएं कि मैं शक्तिशाली हूं आई एम पावरफुल मैं शक्तिशाली हूं आई एम पावरफुल आई एम बिकमिंग हेल्दी मैं स्वस्थ हो रहा हूं आई एम बिकमिंग हेल्दी मैं स्वस्थ हो रहा हूं आई एम बिकमिंग रिच मैं धनवान हो रहा हूं मैं धनवान हो रहा हूं आई एम बिकमिंग सक्सेसफुल मैं सफल बन रहा हूं 
और इसी आनंद को महसूस करते हुए इस रिलैक्सेशन का आनंद लेते हुए ये जानते हुए कि ब्रह्मांड की सबसे बड़ी शक्ति आपके साथ हमेशा है और हमेशा रहेगी अब आप वापस आने के लिए तैयार हैं अब मैं एक से पांच गिनूंगा एक आसपास की आवाजों को सुनना शुरू करें दो अपने शरीर को थोड़ा थोड़ा हिलाना शुरू करें तीन अपने पैरों को मोड़ लें चार अपने शरीर को हिलाएं डुलाएं और पांच Slowly change it to Anulom Vilom, which is inhaling from left, exhaling from right, again inhale from right, exhale from left. So inhale from left, exhale from right, inhale from right, exhale from left. Let's do a couple, couple of rounds of Anulom Vilom. You can put the left hand in Vayu Mudra. By rolling the index finger at the bottom of the thumb. Now, once you complete the anulom vilom, we can chant three om karma mantra. 
followed by quick meditation and then the closing prayer. So you can put both your hands in lap, right hand, right palm and over the lap. Chant the Omkar Mantra three times. Om Brayam Bhagam Yajamahe Sugandim Pusti Vardhanam Purva Dukami Vabandhana Rityur Mokshiyamam Vritam Om Brayam Bhagam Yajamahe Sugandim Pusti Vardhanam meditation, keep your focus on Samastra Chakra, which is crown of the head. And you can keep your focus on breathing. Keep thinking all negative energy, all this tension is leaving your body. And positive energy is entering the body to the selective chakra, which is crown of the head. Now slowly put both hands again in Yamudra. We will chant Om Kar three times. Om. Join both the hands in front of chest. Let's do the closing prayer. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Nirvana Sarve Bhatrani Pashyantu Mahakashit Dukkabhavave Om Shanti Shanti Take your both hands behind the back. Go down to Mother Earth. All the gurus, parents, friends, family, generate love and compassion for everyone around you, for yourself. Inhale, come back up, rub both the palms together. Place your warm hands on the eyes. Open the eyes in darkness a couple of times. Massage the eyelids.
Again, grab your thumb together. Place this one in the head over back of it. Face, knee, shoulder, everywhere on your body. Hari Om, Jashi Krishna, Om, Guru Prayamana, Hari Om Tatsar. This concludes our yoga session. Thank you everyone for joining me. Good morning, Jashi Krishna, everyone. All right. So uh, I was great session, Kinari. Thank you for taking care of. As you see, that I am on my way to Mangal Mandir. I had to play the tabla for services. Yearly, they do some kind of uh, ceremony. Everybody have a wonderful day. Enjoy your day. Happy weekend, and see you all tomorrow. Aarti Kale Saras Madhuram musical program. I'm.